Josh Channing was here, and uh, from uh, Baywatch, he has the bleached. And uh, John Michael Montgomery <laughs> says, well, folks, you ever see this uh, TV show, Real Stories of the Highway Patrol? <laughs> well, the other night I spent some time with the real California Highway Patrol. Right down here, one went down, just walk in on some of these officers, find out how much CHP officers really know about law enforcement. Just walked in there with our cameras. Here's what happened. Oh boy, uh, let me have uh, two cheeseburgers, I guess, a large pie, a Coke, uh, maybe a hot apple pie. That's just making a little joke. Uh, you know, we got a copy of this California Highway Patrol final exam, and we thought it, maybe we could walk around and see just how sharp some of the offices are. The CHP code word for a missing person is a 1222, a section 15, or C and Eric Estrada. <laughs> uh, I think I'd have to go with A on that one. Go with A. When a California resident who is not a uniformed officer puts handcuffs on a suspect, it is called A, a citizen's arrest, B, assisting the police, C, foreplay. <laughs> C. C. So you like the cop shows, you watch police shows? I love it. Like, what's your favorite one? Uh, NYPD Blue. There are three butts in this picture. One of them is Dennis Franz. As a trained police officer, someone who's watched the show, who's seen Dennis Franz's butt, how many times would you say, sir? More times than I'd like to say. More times than I'd like to say. Which one of these butts belongs to Dennis Franz? I want you to... Uh, they all look too small. They all look too small? Uh, that one right there. Let's see. That is Dennis Franz's butt. Congratulations, sir. Fine, fine okay. police work. You might as well take a look under the hood. Yeah, you way around. You know... Maybe I can soup this up a little bit for you, get a little more power out of it. Careful. See, by putting the blower on and then cutting down in your frontal area, it'll give you a little more top speed. And I think I kind of like it the other way. I notice uh, you have a giant donut on the wall here, sir. Is that, is that some sort of performance award given to you by the Randy's Donut people? Or? There are two things I really enjoy, Jay. One's a good donut, the other's a good chase, if you're looking at the other picture. Oh, I see. So the ideal thing really would be to chase a guy into a donut shop. That would be the perfect spot. Wow. Wow. that type of thing, right? That's right. Okay. I've lined up some donuts here. Using your trained eye as a police officer, which one has the raspberry filling? No, oh, lemon. Lemon. Now, you see, that could be an expensive mistake for you to make. Which is the raspberry? Take a bite. Now, you know, I'm not involved in police work, and I don't know much about detective work, but to me, that would be a dead giveaway. Well, take a bite. Is that it? Sure. Close enough. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Commissioner Hannigan has asked me to give you a brief quiz. The part of a CHP officer's uniform that commands the most respect is A, the gun, B, the badge. C, the rolled up sock in his pants. <laughs> C. C. You should never become romantically involved with your partner because A, it is against official policy. B, work relationships never last. C, you may be a member of the canine squad. <laughs> no, no, no visit with your neighbor, I'm sorry. I go with C. Go with C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I've been asked to hand out uh, composite of a uh, suspect. This is a gentleman who has been uh, seen in the area with underage women. He is a African-American male. He's about uh, 4 foot 11. Uh, you might find some of his albums in the 99 cent bin at Tower Records. <laughs> Right back with 
Gary Shandling right after this. Don't 